All right, welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. That's it. We got to do some uh, breakfast slasher. Right. I'm hungry. That was a late night session last night. I haven't eaten anything yet. Yeah. Oh. So, let's make some uh, breakfast bombs. This is based off our classic potato bombs. You guys have been following us for 15 years. You know all about the potato bombs. These are cool. Uh, these will be breakfast bombs, and it's real easy to do. All you need is a decent potato, a few, not particularly big in our case, in this case, because we're doing breakfast. So this is what, we've got some, uh, these are yellows, potatoes, right? Fresh, whatever, and we're gonna use an apple core to start this process, right? And it's easy to do. So we're gonna take our apple core, and you can find these guys pretty much anywhere they sell uh, kitchen supplies, right? And you core a hole, just like that, see that? Right through, and you end up with uh, a plug. Hang on to these because we're gonna use them, right? So again, let me show you, just in case you fell asleep. Take your apple core, dig, spin, and bango, see that? A nice little plug, and a nice cord tater. Just like that, right? Oh man. It's going to be real easy to do, and this will be a outrageous breakfast. You might want to do this the morning of your uh, of your big uh, event, your big low and slow going on. You got to start everybody out with a good uh, breakfast bomb, right? So we'll just go ahead and carve out a few of these. Boom! Oh, this is going to be good. I'll keep doing this because I know this day and age everybody has a very short attention span. That's why we scroll, right? Constantly scroll on on our phones. Well, come on, baby. Gets a little boring after a while, doesn't it? Again. Now not all apple cores are the same, so you wanna you wanna look out for the good ones. It's got some uh teeth on it away so it really bites into it and the diameter is just perfect for this uh, these breakfast bombs so let me uh, let me grab one more I don't know do the turn look at that oh man it's gonna be easy looks good all right so now and get this out of the way now, this is the magic. We're going to take some ordinary breakfast sausages. And uh, you can pretty much find them anywhere. I don't have to show you what brand. You probably recognize it already, right? And, uh, and we're going to stuff these taters, or potatoes, or potato, whatever you want to call it. And we just have them perfectly fit. And in they go. There's your sausage stuffed potato bomb. Perfect, right? Now, just in case that confused the hell out of you, let me do it again. One of these pre-cooked sausages. Now, we're using pre-cooked because we want it thoroughly cooked, right? All the hard work has been done. You guys recognize the flavoring in this. There's several different kinds of flavors. You even got one with maple. That might go perfect, right? And, uh, whoop, use a sausage. There we go. Simple enough. And like I was saying, we want the pre-cooked because we want the potato fully cooked on the outside. But if we used a raw sausage or something, it's not going to completely cook on the inside. So these are pre-cooked. The hard work is done. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we'll grab a little uh, olive oil and we're going to put it on the grill opposite the hot coals. I'm going to oil these. Just a little bit first. All right. Take a little olive oil. What oil you got going on? Olive oil works pretty good. Probably in your way here, right? So you can see, but just give it a little bit of olive oil coating on the outside. This will give a nice crispy tater uh, skin, right? 
Got a little oil on there. And then we're going to place these opposite the hot coals, right? We're going to bake them, right? So here we go. Is that in scene, Joe? Mm-hmm. All right. And you know, it won't take long to cook these, uh, these taters, stuff with sausage. And of course, here are the plugs or the fuse for the tater bomb. We've got some oil on there as well. We're gonna use a little aluminum foil. And that is it. Are you kidding me? Put the cover on and just sit back and relax. <coughs> Breakfast is coming, Martha. All right. Oh yeah. Just give them the flip. Get that even cooking going on. I can hear the raven back there, you know, he knows. Look at that. The raven knows. The raven knows. All right, not long to go. Good. All right, I think we're just about yeah, done. Gotta check these, taking them off there. Oh, oh yeah. Take a look at that. Yeah, oh, they're man. looking good. Mm. I'll tell you, look at that. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take them off the grill here. Oh, those are ready for travel. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Gee, I hope we made enough for us, uh, Slash. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to... I hope you made some for yourself. Yeah, I think so. All right. So now, there's one missing ingredient. And of course, that's the egg. So we're gonna fry some eggs here. All right. We've got a cast iron pan heated up on the grill. You know guys all do this. Now, uh, here we've got some beef tallow, right? Cook your eggs in some beef tallow if you can find it. This is what they did for old school french fries too. Some of you might remember when french fries were actually french fries and real good. The local restaurants, but all right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got some brown eggs going on. Can't wait to get into those uh, those breakfast bombs. All right. So uh, we really don't need to uh, show you how to do this, right? You guys are all making eggs all the time, but but as most of you know, when you do it outside, it's taking breakfast to another level, huh? <laughs> Lord have mercy. I think we're going to do what? Three eggs apiece. We got two pit masters here today. Three. Oh. Look at that. There we go. We got the camera fixated. I have to. Now we got those plugs being cooked. We'll get them off the grill, we don't need them. Look at that. Oh, man. It's kind of an art form. Goodness gracious. I'm not sure if the editor is going to edit this. I'm just going to let it roll. Kind of old school, right? Low and slow. You can hear silence in the congregation. You think the drive ups give you this kind of service? Yes. 
We got some plates uh, under the table, Slasher. Mm -hmm. So, um... Oh, no. No. It's gotta be sunny side, right? You want them over easy? Oh, no. I, I gotta have the sunny for dipping. I mean, yeah. This is pit master privilege, any way you want to eat your eggs, but. All right. Damn. I'd say put three on my plate, they're just about ready. Hey. Good to me. Here, I can take that plate for me, Joe. The slash. Now, some of you thought you were going to get a 59 second video here. Hell with that. Uh, yeah. This is the part where we've been waiting for here, man. Oh, yeah. Got to be check this out, man. Look at this. The breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, stuff. Look at this. With sausage. Oh, yeah. Open eggs. that up with that potato. The potatoes cook perfect. We got the plugs that we had in there. I yeah. mean, this, this is a, this a pit master's. Uh, That's it. Yeah, these are yellow potatoes. See that? Mm. Got a nice yeah, pretty yellow. good, yeah. So we can just break them up like this. Now, you yeah. can set these up the way you want. Yeah. But I'm just going to. Back. Let's get them right in there. Mm. Now, this is why we got a lot of cardiologists who follow this channel. That's right. Because, okay. They root us on. Did? You know? They root us on. And let me tell you, uh, through uh, some inside information, we happen to know there are fans mm. of the Pit Boys who are mm. heart surgeons, cardiologists. Mm. Need any salt and SPG yeah. or anything? Yeah. All right. This is perfect. Now this mm. is the part where the pit masters are going to eat in front mm. of you, and uh, I don't think we're going to apologize, man. Mm. 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 It's the bomb, man. Mm. A beer. Whatever they say, right? Mm. Fresh garden, garden chicken eggs. Mm. Brother, hold on, please. Look yeah. up. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So definitely, this is something uh, you want to check out. There's nothing like breakfast at the pit, and especially the morning of a big cook you got going on, man. Mm. You start the day with this. Boy, this could be a Sunday morning hangover day too, man. This might get that pro. Okay. This yeah. is why we do Sunday. Man. Mm -mm -mm. These breakfast tater bombs are very easy to do. You can see that. I primed it, bud. I primed up for this. Mm. Didn't eat anything all day. I know. So remember this: the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Oh, good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 